Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Dave and you suck at programming, alright? And today we're going to talk about the alternate screen on your terminal. What is that? Do you not even know? Alright, buckle up. This is going to be fun. You ever been on your terminal and you're just kind of doing some work? Maybe you're saying, you know, echo hi, or you run ls, and then you say, echo, how are you? Just really basic stuff. And then you're like, you know what? I want to look at a word list. Uh, here we go. Here's a list of words. I'm going to run that through less. So I can go up, I can go down, blah, 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 blah. I can page up, I can page down, I can search for something like Dave, and there we go, cadaver, that's awesome. And now I'm done here, so I'm gonna quit out. Q. Where did that list of words go? Like, I ran the less command, I did something interactively, but like, where did it go? The answer is, the alternate screen, all right? We can get there ourselves. We could run a command, we could just print something to the screen that brings us to the alternate screen. We can use tput, smcup, and bam, there we go. Now we're in the alternate screen. Like, hello, yay, we're in the alternate screen. What can we do? We can go back. rmcup. There we go, we're back. Just like Les, we went into this alternate reality, and then we came out of the alternate reality. Isn't that kind of neat? And take a look at this. We can kind of recreate Les if we wanted to. This is just sort of to illustrate the concept. We can put ourselves in there. We can get, let's say, the first 10 words from that, user shared dict words. Um, let's sleep for like three seconds just to illustrate it, and then let's RM that cup. RM cup, there we go. So there we go, we got our words, and they're gone. So yeah, as you can see, this is a simple way of getting to the alternate screen. You would typically do this in a program, maybe you'd have some sort of library like NCurses or something, or some sort of console drawing program um, if you were going to do this yourself. But the alternate screen is great. You can go in there, you can do something. Editors typically work out of this, and then when you go back to the main screen, all that's gone. So yeah, that's uh, alternate screens demystified.